Good guys, this is Lord Tomo here again with another Sonic the Hedgehog item review. As we all know, this is the blue guy, Sonic the Hedgehog. Currently seems to have some sort of torch with him. I guess he'll be exploring an area, maybe Angel Island, who knows. We'll put him aside and we'll get straight to the review. So the item I'm about to review right now is one of the items I just wanted to get for display purposes. I figured, you know, being obviously a Sonic fan slash Sega fan, I might as well just get this and just display it. So the actual item in question is a Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, bringing it close. Sonic the Hedgehog from Sonic Team Visual Memory Unit. Also referred to as a VMU for the Sega Dreamcast. It was one of the uh, most interactive memory cards out there from what I do recollect in terms of in its in its in it, in blah, its, uh, its ability to interact with the actual console itself. So we'll get straight into the packaging itself and go from there. So as we already know it comes in a plastic sleeve. Nothing too much there. Nothing too special in that regard. But we'll take it out for now. But it depends on how much of a collector you are. You don't need this, but I guess if you're looking for mint condition version of this, this needs to be wrapped in a plastic sleeve. You can't really verify that, but hey, that's that. So, this is the actual item itself. Now we'll get straight into the package before we get to the actual inside. As we already know, it's from the Creative Sonic team. It, uh, there were other bootleg versions of memory cards, but that's a different story for a different game. We actually have the um, a kind of a drawn on picture of the actual visual memory card. At the very top we have the icon Dreamcast. I love that console. It was kind of the first consoles that I really enjoyed. Not just because of Sonic, it's just my first 3D console. I always used to use my brother's PlayStation 2 to play games or anything, which had its ups and downs as uh, <laughs> siblings usually go. So we obviously have what it is, visual memory. It doesn't have the unit, which is quite odd, but it has it in Japanese. And we have the legendary Sonic the Hedgehog icon from the old Sega Adventure series. At the very top, it's just standard Sonic Team, written in Japanese. Same thing over here. Um, uh, yep. And uh, the bottom has absolutely nothing. The other side is just the same. And the back here is just obviously the disclaimers. Now, it does follow suit like every other um, Sonic the Hedgehog sort of, not Sonic the Hedgehog, but every visual memory card that was released for the Dreamcast. It just, only in this case, it's in Japanese, so after the Japanese audience. At the very bottom, it told you when it was released. It's 2000, uh, 2000. So that's the actual box. I do enjoy this box, mainly because I do like the um, connection between the whites and blues. I always found that to be quite nifty, or quite, it worked, in other words. The only thing that kind of is off-putting is the Dreamcast logo. It's not because I don't like the Dreamcast logo, it's just, you know, whites and blues and orange. I don't know. Pretty bad. <laughs> so, we'll get open this up. And, um, now, I'm going to show you, before we obviously get straight into the actual item, here's the box. What's actually meant to come in is just a few things before we get to the item. It comes with this, uh, I guess, pamphlet extraction manual. I'll open this up for you guys. So basically it's just Dreamcast disclaimers, the features, the buttons, how to remove it, the, where the battery sockets are. At the very bottom it tells you how to remove the batteries, the, the functionalities, the pictures that you'll see, stuff like that. Um, it is common standard for all visual memory units to have, obviously in its corresponding language. This was not released in Australia for obvious reasons. So that's that. <coughs> so just uh see if we can get a view of that. So yeah, it tells you how to insert it, stuff like that. Connecting abilities, all the fun stuff that follows it. So if you if you want this in its all your entirety, uh, it's recommended to actually obviously have this, which is important. Now here's the legendary item, the item itself. The only, I guess, uh, not really a complaint, but meh sort of aspect to it is it falls out by itself, doesn't really hold it. So the first time if you ever get this, you take it out and it falls over, it might hit the floor, chip, who knows. So this is the actual item itself, I'll get a really good view of that. Uh, okay. So I do like this visual memory card, mainly because obviously from its from Sonic Team, it's got a picture of Sonic, but it's predominantly blue and white, which also far suits with the packaging. I do like that in terms of um, how it gets more or less released. At the black, it's just clear, so you can 
look at all the signature. Now you know your one's brand new if it's got this little tab, so you can rip it off and away it goes. Obviously I'm not going to do it because I just want it in packaging. I already have a visual memory card for this for the Dreamcast, so there's no need. Once again, it is standard. You remove it, plug it back in, and uh, away you go. So what's meant to come in with it? Obviously this, to hold it. The little instruction pamphlet piece of paper. Obviously the box, that's a crucial. And uh, if you want it, plastic sleeve. So, in terms of rarity, look, I, I did manage to find this, um, well, yes and no, like, it's hard to find this, I actually can buy this by chance, and when I did, I just bought it. Now, it's not to say that it's not rare, it's not to say it's, it's common, I just don't know that aspect. I have seen the actual unit itself, by itself, and that does retail roughly about $30, $40, depending, but in terms of the whole packaging and whatnot, I, I can't say I've seen it. If somebody else has, please shoot me up, I'd like to know, but I haven't, so that's it. Now this did uh, send me back a bit, not financial disaster to the point where I'm living on the streets with the dogs and chickens, but it cost me about $120. A little pricey, I know, you could probably get a brand new game for this, you know, a new game, but I just wanted this to have display, so why not? In terms of rarity, you are looking at roughly 7.5 stars out of 10, simply because of, you know, what it comes with and obviously the... I wouldn't say limited release, I don't know that much if it's been limited released or not, but that's the actual item itself. So guys, tell me what you think, tell me if you like it, hate it, um, any feedback for reviews, any requests, hey look, shoot me up, I'm, I'm more than happy, I've got a, an abundance of things to review these days. So yeah, if you do like it, please hit me up, if you don't, hey, hit me up either way, negative and positives is the way I work. I will be reviewing um, Sonic the Hedgehog books as a, I guess, a <coughs> As a, as a separate sort of playlist but I'll, I'll get that into further on so I'll be releasing more things further down the track in a more frequent basis for you guys to keep in touch and anyway guys I hope you enjoy this I hope you tune in and we'll go from there remember guys speed on happy collecting see ya